Hello, welcome to MicroDrone's Field Notes. My name is Matt Rosenbaum, the sales manager for the Southern United States. This series will start an MD cockpit and over the next few weeks teach you the many quirks and features this program boasts and show you why it is a great tool to help you plan and carry out successful mapping missions using MicroDrone's products. First, a quick fact about MD cockpit. MD Cockpit is an Android-based application specifically designed for MicroDrones products by our team in Quebec. Today, I will briefly introduce you to MD Cockpit and go over features that help you navigate the program. We will also touch on a few features that you may or may not be aware of, ones that I believe make this program a great tool for planning and flying mapping missions. We will start by opening the menu. Upon opening MD Cockpit, you are directed to the flight data page which is used to carry out missions. To navigate to the rest of the app's pages, click the menu button in the upper left hand corner. Upon opening the menu, you will notice that flight data is highlighted in blue since that's the page we are currently on. Next is the mission editor page, followed by the drone config page, mission parameters, and app settings. Let's start in the mission editor page. When you open the mission editor, you will see five tools on the left hand side of your screen. The first is your waypoint tool. This is where you can create waypoints such as your takeoff and landing waypoint. Next is your survey tool. This is where you can create survey missions via a polygon or a line. Followed by your selection tool where you can select multiple items within your mission. Next is your deletion tool where you can delete multiple items within your mission. And finally the undo tool if you were to delete or create a waypoint that you do not want or need. A few items to note in the header. The first that you see me highlight there is the estimated distance the drone will travel to carry out the mission. Next that you see me highlight there is the estimated time the drone will take to carry out its mission. If you notice over here that is your terrain follow feature. We will go over that in another video. Next is your mission dashboard. In the mission dashboard you can do things such as name your mission in this case it's MD Cockpit Tutorial. You can also select the product line you will be flying. We have three product lines we have released commercially within MD Cockpit. First being MD Mapper, followed by MD LiDAR, and finally the M Detector. Let's start with the MD Mapper. When you select the MD Mapper product line, you can then select which system you are flying, starting with the MD Mapper 200 going all the way up to the MD Mapper 3000 Phase 1. If you select the MD Mapper 1000, it defaults to the Sony Alpha A6300. We have many different cameras that work with this, this system, but our default camera is the Sony Alpha A6300. You can also select the focal length you're flying. Be sure to select the correct focal length so that MD Cockpit knows the spacing to build the flight lines. If you were to select Another system, such as the MD LiDAR, we have all three of our MD LiDAR systems built into MD Cockpit as well. MD LiDAR 1000, MD LiDAR 3000, and the MD LiDAR 3000 DL. Let's select the MD LiDAR 1000, and you can see a cool quirk and feature. We can fly this system at two different fields of view. If I select the field of view, I can fly it at either 85 or 60 degrees. Let's leave it at 85 degrees. Finally, if you wanted to create a mission with the M Detector CH4, you would select it, and there's no cameras that go along with it for mapping. So you can then build either a waypoint mission or a survey mission. Let's open up the menu again and navigate to the mission parameters page. In the mission parameters page, you will see the current drone model you are building a mission for. You can also change various settings such as your default horizontal and vertical speed, as well as a few different fail safes. In the app settings page, under about, you can see which version of MD Cockpit you're currently running. If you click on user interface, you can then do things such as change your units from metric to imperial. Under maps, you can click map provider preferences. And here you can choose the type of map you would prefer to use. Selections such as satellite, hybrid, normal, or terrain. I prefer hybrid as it is a mix between satellite and normal and helps you navigate to the location you plan on flying. If you go back down under warnings, 
This is where you can set your ceiling warning. In most cases, you will want this set to 400 foot above the ground. But in cases where you may have a waiver or will be flying next to a structure, you can edit the ceiling maximum so that MD cockpit will not bark at you throughout your mission. There are no authorization unlocks that you will ever need to get in order to fly any microdrones airframe. Let's set this to 122 meters. Finally, what may be my favorite feature, the user manual is built into this app. If you click on the menu and navigate to user guide, this will open up the full MD cockpit user manual. This allows you to check the user manual in the field if you were to forget an important step. That's all for today. Thank you for watching Microdrone's Field Notes. If you have any more questions, please direct them to Mason Styles at the email below.